The process of DNA extraction really involves two different parts to it. First of all, we have to release the DNA from whatever compartment it happens to be located in. And then second of all, we need to purify it from other molecules that might also be there. So if we look at this cell that I've drawn here, this is a typical eukaryotic cell and the blue would represent our DNA. And so the DNA is located inside of the nucleus. And um, what that means is that we really have two different membranes. We've got the plasma membrane here and then you've also got the nuclear envelope, and both of those are enclosing the DNA. So one of the first steps when we're talking about releasing the DNA is that we have to break open these envelopes, these two membranes that are containing the DNA in this single compartment. So that's gonna be our first step. Now, when we release the DNA, we do have a number of different detergents, what we'll call detergents that we can use for that. But the overall process that we're looking at is going to be called lysis. So when we talk about lysis, we are breaking compartments open. And this means that the DNA, along with a lot of other molecules as well, is going to be released into the solution. And that's whatever solution um, we are using for this lysis process. So again, typically we're using what we would call a detergent. And that detergent is going to be capable of breaking apart phospholipids, um, other types of lipids that might be part of the membranes as well. Okay, so lysis goes right along with the first step here, which is releasing the DNA. Once we finish the lysis process, we will have the DNA along with a lot of other molecules present in solution. And so the next step, the purification of the DNA, is going to involve removing those other molecules that happen to be there, because we, what we want to end up with is really a pure solution of just DNA. So as I've drawn it here, the DNA is represented in blue, and then we have um, a number of other molecules, and I've drawn two different ones. Um, the red is going to represent proteins, so we will have lots of those, present. And then the yellow, as I've drawn it, is going to represent RNA, which is, of course, another type of nucleic acid. So if we want to remove the proteins and the RNA from this solution, we have um, specific enzymes that are capable of digesting just those. So when we're talking about the protein component, we have what are called proteases. And so if we add proteases to solution, these are going to specifically digest proteins. So that will help us to remove those from solution. So as soon as we add those, all of the red would go away. And then if we want to digest the RNA, it would be a little hard to see if I wrote it in yellow here, but if we had um, RNA and we wanted to get rid of it, we're going to use what we call RNases. And RNases, they are going to digest specifically the RNA component. And again, the RNA is what I'm showing here in yellow in my picture. So that would be the purification step. Okay, so anytime we have DNA extraction, we are going to have to release the DNA from whatever compartment it's in. Even if we're talking about prokaryotic cells, they would still have a plasma membrane at least that we would have to rupture. So we'll have detergents to do that. And then the next step is going to be to purify the DNA from other molecules that might be present. Specifically, proteases are gonna take care of the proteins. And then we have RNases that will help us to take care of the RNA components.